Hey guys, welcome back to the garden. We're in the food forest, in uh, the spiral in the center of the food forest. And uh, this video is about a new toy that I have played around with for the last couple of weeks. It's a bird identification app and I'm crazy about it. Uh, in this garden alone, uh, this, this app, with this app, uh, we have identified about 30 different species of birds living in this uh, garden of ours. And it brings me so much joy. And uh, I'm not a bird nerd, I wish, but I, I find it really hard to, to, to learn the, the sounds of the birds and to tell which bird is singing. But this app is, ident it's, it has the, the sounds of the birds and it's identifying the bird. And when the bird is singing, it's highlighting the name so that I can, I can really learn all the different sounds of the different birds. And I'm, I'm already finding that it's really helping me to identify who's singing and who's not. And um, I will put a link in to this app in the description below. I've had such fun with it. Uh, and I will also put the crazy list of these 30 plus birds um, that uh, the app has identified in the garden. Uh, some of them I knew, of course, but uh, others are actually really um, surprising and interesting. Lots of warblers, I think, or, uh, and I don't, I'm not too sure about all the, the English names for the birds, but I will translate and find out which ones they are, both in Danish and in English if you're curious and if you are a bird nerd. Um, this walking around the garden and working in the garden and, and this, this song that's happening all the time, I think is so beautiful. And uh, I have felt that as the garden has been maturing that lots of more different species of birds have come in and and now i actually have like proof that this is not in my head it's it's actually happening and i get to learn how they sound and when they sing and all of these things so i really encourage you to have fun with this uh, new app it's free and uh, it's uh, in the link in the description other than that um, look at all these columbines and uh, all this beauty that's uh, here right now i think i i love these and there are so many different varieties and so many different shades i think a lot of them actually revert back to this color or this color even if you have uh, many many different uh, variations like uh, like this one it's still uh, as it was when i when i got it from seeds but i think they are sort of slowly reverting back to these uh, these original or the wild variety it doesn't matter they are still glorious and i mean they are no work and i think they are sculptural in, in, and interesting in the way the flowers are constructed. Uh, so those I love, as you can see, when you look at this dead apricot that's, that we are sort of slowly taking out of the garden. Uh, but all of these columbines are just making the space beautiful. Um, this, this is not edible, of course, but I think it's, it's a euphorbia confetti. And I absolutely love this color. I think it's so glorious. And I love the euphorbias because they flower for such a long time and they keep their shapes. And also because the, the colors are fading and they, these are super interesting in fall also. And they are so glorious right now. I mean, lots of other things I could tell you, but I actually, I just wanted to uh, make you aware of this amazing app if you don't already know it. So have fun playing with that and thanks for watching.